What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to talk about the update coming tomorrow Will this update drive people back into that Destiny action? Is this update going to be enough? Is it just about being able to go faster or is there more to why people have abandoned this game? Today we discuss it all but hey people if you do enjoy the video don't forget to hit that like button if you are new around here be sure to subscribe for kind of daily destiny videos and something else important to mention due to YouTube being a fuck up these past few months and the rolling out of updates it's been revealed that they don't send all videos out to all subscribers unless you hit that bell button. So it's really important to me that if you do never want to miss a video, do hit that bell button. It really does help me and my channel out. So let's go. And first up, let's take a look at the latest roadmap confirming things coming with the Go Faster update, the 1.1.4 patch. So with this patch, we get a weapon and ability sandbox changes. The ability changes is basically leaning towards making everything go faster. Hence why this update has been given a name, the Go Faster update. So basically, everything across the board has been adjusted to make you move around quicker. Not only that, ability cooldowns have been increased. Within PvP, power ammo spawns in quicker, respawn timers reduced, power ammo bricks drop up and dying when you have power ammo, also weapons have been adjusted to match the pace of the gameplay. Many weapons have had multiple buffs too, snipers now look actually usable and in general it's starting to look quite decent for sure. We see it says Iron Banner 6v6 which will come to in a second, weekly crucible playlist featuring mayhem and rumble, crucible quit up penalties. What happens here is within the competitive playlist if you back out, uh, this can be due to rage queen, losing connection or just being idle, you will have a 30 minute cooldown before you can play another competitive match again. It's got repeat crucible map and strike protection so basically this stops them times of getting the same damn maps 20 times in a row. Exotic repetition reduction. This is useless for those of you like me who have every exotic the game offers. Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards, which I can't wait for. And then we have the companion vendor viewing. So the update, although it isn't massive in terms of state things, but the game changes here are enormous. Considering I believe it will make the game feel very, very different indeed. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again. Destiny 2's problems lie way lower than just PvP feeling real slow compared to the first game. The main problem is lack of content, lack of reasons to keep playing, lack of reasons to keep grinding. Nightfall exclusive loot is a start, but it really isn't enough. Now I ain't saying this update won't help the game, I feel it definitely will, but this update for me is preparation for the May DLC. Without us experiencing how different the game will feel under this new patch, many people wouldn't care about any future content. But if Bungie allows us to playtest this new Go Faster update, everything beyond this, with the game feeling great, is a bonus. Now Bungie dropped a Go Faster March update trailer featuring Josh Hamrick. Check it out right here. We have heard the feedback of my guns don't feel powerful enough, I don't feel powerful enough. And so we we looked at everything. We looked at the way you move, the way your supers come back, and especially the way the weapons play, right? We looked at hand cannons and, and sniper rifles and shotguns. We looked at the big montage weapons that you would see in Destiny 1, the crazy snipes and shotgun plays and even hand cannon plays, right? Uh, and so we, we went back to the board and went a, looked at everything and just said like, hey, here are a couple weapons that we feel like are in a really good spot. And by really good spot, they're they're kind of hot, right? Like they're they're probably too hot for D2. In D1, people would have said, probably correctly, that means we would nerf those things. We would they're nails that are sticking up out of the board and we would have hammered them back in to be even with the board. Uh, for this update, we did the opposite. We said these things are hot. Let's bring everything else to them. And so we started raising each thing up, whether it be in PvE or PvP. We've also learned the lesson of don't sand the coolness down, right? Like leave the leave the jagged spikes of personality in there. Multiple subclass movement modes for both Titans and Warlocks got touched. They're unique and fast now. Some of the supers uh, that have been underperforming have been touched and made significantly better. Arc stuff, looking at you guys. The Crucible team has come in and dumped in a bunch of power ammo changes to like speed up the pace of the game. Respawn times have come back faster. Character movement is way faster, <laughs> way faster. Just seeing the way that that changes the, the flow of the matches and the stuff that people are able to pull off, like. I, I fully expect videos to start dropping that just show some 
ridiculous plays. Like, hero moments are back. Like, I honestly believe that. I believe that, like, in the combination with the power weapon changes and the speed boost, like, they're, like, moving at a million miles an hour and, like, jumping through the air and then pulling off headshots. And, like, we're going to see some crazy shit. You know, we're taking risk. But I think, you know, if I want to kick myself while I'm down here, like, it's not like we haven't introduced obnoxious bugs into the game before doing the other approach. So like, what's the worst that could happen? So for tomorrow's update, we drastically increase your super regeneration. Weapons are gonna hit harder. Like abilities are gonna come faster. Hero moments are gonna make a return. This is a motion towards what we all believe is the right direction. And I think this update, especially for Sandbox, is by and large the the biggest version of that, right? Like there are multiple things that are that are based in community feedback that have come to us uh, fairly loudly and that we've tried to like say, okay, we hear what they're saying, we trust what they're saying, we we also believe in those things and we want to make a game that we all love. Now what's interesting here is the fact how he mentioned we picked up a few hot weapons and brought everything up to them standards. Yeah, it's a thing I think everyone wanted within Destiny 1 times, a substitute many people hoped they'd use instead of nerfing all decent weapons. Now although I think this is good leadership, it's a little late, but it's still welcome. This does mean though going by this logic we might see random roles return in Destiny 4. Another seriously interesting thing about this video is how damn fast this warlock seems to be moving during its Thornblade. I mean it covers serious distance in a split second, looking great it really is. I just hope with the warlock being able to move this quick and titans getting that shoulder charge buff back, that they don't forget about us hunters who theoretically should be the fastest of all classes. We will see tomorrow. But yeah this footage confirms that warlock skating is now a thing, who'd have thought it? Just absolute craziness. I can't wait to experience all of these changes for myself. Now let's go back to the Iron Banner 6v6 and Mayhem and Rumble. Now like me you probably think these were all coming with this March 27th update, the 1.1.4 patch. Well you'd be wrong, that is not the case at all. With the update tomorrow on March 27th we get Rumble. This will last a week until April 3rd. We will then get Mayhem for a week until April 10th and on April 10th we will get Iron Banner 6v6. This info was confirmed by DMG04 who tweeted it out yesterday seen on screen now. So tomorrow we will get Rumble and that is about it. PvP wise. I still look forward to playing it for about 10 minutes though, but we will see, it might surprise me with the two extra guardians taking part within each game. But yeah guys, that's tomorrow's update covered. I for sure will be playing it and might even be streaming it, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget hit that bell button to have notifications turned on so you never miss a video or a stream. Now maintenance I believe will land tomorrow also which should delay this patch for a few hours so be aware of that. If you're living in the UK like me, no more time now, the clocks have gone forward, it's around 6pm UK time so expect it around 8. On that note guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by, hope you enjoyed the video, if you didn't leave a like it really does help me out. Again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.